I know they make a gold bug one, two, and a pro. I'm telling you from my own personal experience, you're gonna want yourself a Fisher Gold Bug 2. It operates at 71 kilohertz, and it's a much more efficient machine for finding that small gold. It comes with a 10 inch coil, and it comes with a six inch coil. I highly recommend you use the six inch coil. 10 inch coil will do, but the smaller the coil, smaller the gold. You put that small coil on, you're gonna find the super gold. Now I know they make a five inch coil out there, but for what you're gonna be using, in practical purposes, a six inch coil is gonna be the perfect combo for that gold bug too. You're also gonna need a very good set of headphones. Now this will make all the difference in the world out there if you're nugget shooting, because if you can't hear it or you don't hear efficiently, you're gonna miss that target. And you never wanna go out there without a set of headphones, I'm telling you. So invest in a good set of headphones. You're gonna need a good digging tool because when you find a target, you're gonna need to dig it out. And I strongly recommend to all you nugget shooters out there to get a rare earth or neodymium magnet somewhere on it. Now I know that they sell magnets on a lot of these digging tools, but they're not very strong. And trust me, you start finding all those little bits of metal like boot tacks and, and decomposing metal, whoo, it's gonna drive you crazy. You're gonna need a good spoon. I know it looks silly, but this is the best thing you can use to recover any gold that you might find that's in the soil. I'm gonna show you how to use all this stuff. The gold bug too. It's it's good in four different types of scenarios. One, you're gonna be checking mine dumps with it. It's great for finding that specimen gold. Two, you're gonna be checking the header piles of dry washers, not the tailing pile, but the header piles. Three, you're gonna be checking bedrock with it. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And of course, four, my favorite, is going into mines. I love going into mines. So those are the four applications that I would use this for because it works perfectly in those scenarios. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to hunt some of this bedrock here. And this is a known gold producing area. It's one of my secret spots. And I'm gonna show you how to work some of the crevices and some of the cracks and fissures here in this bedrock. And I'm gonna explain why the gold is here and how to use all this stuff. I got this nice patch of bedrock right here. On the face of the machine here, you've got three knobs, and then you got two little baby knobs here on the bottom left-hand corner, see that? Now, this is a volume, this is your ground reject, or ground balance, and of course, this is your sensitivity knob, and then down here, you've got your modes and your mineralization. We're gonna start off with the basics. The first thing you do is you turn the right knob over that says volume all the way to number 10. You take your sensitivity knob, turn it all the way up to 10 too. Now, what's this thing in the middle? Ground reject button? It's ground balance. Downside to these machines, there's no super fast track or automatic ground balance on them. You gotta ground balance it yourself all the time. You gotta stay on top of it too. To get away from you when the soil conditions change. So how does this thing work? Well, it's simple. You got a knob inside a knob. The outer knob is a fine tune and the little tiny knob which clicks, hear that? That's designed to do increments of 10. So when you get to a spot, and I'll show you how, you ground balance with the, the little knob and then you fine tune it with the big knob until you get right where you wanna be in that sweet spot. Now, these two guys down here, don't even mess with them. Keep them in the normal mode, unless you got some seriously heavy ground that has tons and tons of iron or mineralization in it. Just leave them in the normal mode. And of course, on the back, see that? That's your threshold button. That's the one that you're gonna turn up and down. I went to turn this thing on, hear that? There's my threshold right there. One other thing I wanna add is you're gonna wanna make sure that you bring a couple of these guys. These are nine volt batteries. Now this thing takes two nine volt batteries and trust me, I go through them fast. And the last thing you wanna do is be out in the middle of nowhere and have your machine go down on you. So make sure you bring a couple of these with you and that they're new too. Okay, now I'm gonna just ground balance this and then we're gonna start detecting. I'm gonna show you how it works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my headphones off for right now so you can hear what's going on. Set those right there. Make sure when you set your headphones down, you check to make sure nothing's crawling into them. Seen a few guys put them on their ears and something gets in their brain. You're gonna turn it on. Hear that? There's my threshold. Now the idea is you want that threshold barely audible, okay? There's an old saying that says, may the threshold be with you. You want it stable and you barely want to be able to hear it. First of all, ground balance. Okay, come here, take a look at this. You're gonna find a spot. Now this wash right here has got tons and tons of iron in it. I can see it right now. See that, hear that? My knob here. See, I'm quieting it up. Now it should make the same sound as I'm going down as it's coming up. And like I said, the, the big knob is increments of 10. Hear that? I go one to the left. It's a little quieter. And then I do fine tuning with the big knob. Nope, wrong way. That's some 
heavy soil. That's about right. And you're going to pump it as you're doing it. You're pumping it up and down. And that's some super hot ground. That's how you're going to ground balance. I know it's a little tricky, but once you get used to it, it's really easy. And you want that threshold. I don't know if you can hear that. Barely hear that. Just barely hear that. And that way you can distinguish certain sounds. And remember, as that soil changes, you're going to have to stay on top of it. Keep pumping it and stabilize. And then when, when you see that the soil or the rock condition is changing, pump it again. Every so often, you're going to have to keep checking it. All right, so I'm going to go over here to this bedrock right here. And it looks really good. And like I said, this is a gold producing area. So I'm going to go over it real quick and see if I can find something. So come on, let's go. Okay, now come here, take a look at this. I'll take my headphones off so you can hear this. Now I don't think that's gold because it's too loud. Now remember what I told you, bring a super magnet. There's probably going to be all kinds of metal in this wash and you can drag it over the top of that and see if I can pull anything out because that way I don't want to waste my time. Now look at that, I want you to see how much iron is in this wash, see that? I mean just going over it a little bit. Okay, I'm ground balancing again just to make sure I'm stable. Ooh, you hear that? Now, I don't think that's gold. It's too loud, unless it's a monster nugget. And I'm down here in this flow sand. I don't think there's any gold, but I'm gonna show you how to retrieve it. Remember that spoon I told you about? Come here, I'm gonna show you how to find the target. On these uh, gold bug twos, on the 10 inch and the six inch coils, you're gonna see a little dot there in the middle. See that dot? And what that means, that's the very center of the coil. What you can do is draw an imaginary line like a plus sign this way and this way. And you're gonna sweep your area and you're going to look and see where if that target's in the middle. Now you can also use the outer edge of your coil to pinpoint and cracks and crevices too. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now, take a look at this. Okay, I know it's right about here on this line, see that? And then I can turn the detector 180 degrees. Okay, so it's right about, right about there where that X is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab my scoop and scoop. Now, the way that this works is you're gonna take the side of your hand and you're gonna bump that scoop like this without spilling it, of course. And what that's gonna do is force all that gold or heavy material to the bottom. And then you're gonna flatten out your search coil and you're gonna take this and drag it right across the top. <laughs> Ooh, I know I got it. Now you're gonna do the two hand technique. Put a little in your hand, shake it, make sure it goes to the bottom and still there. Put a little in your hand, shake it. Oh, it's quiet. Ooh, okay. Put a little in there, shake it. Ooh, I know. Now you're thinking, Jeff, just throw that one away. No, don't throw that one away because there could be two nuggets. So you got to be careful. I always like to clear a spot off and put my other pile somewhere that I can remember. I'll put a little rock right there and then I'll go over it again. Now, don't try using just your hand because there's enough salt in your hand to set off that VLF detector. Now, I don't work with PIs, but VLFs, salt's in your hand. We'll set off that detector. So don't use your hand, use a scoop. Now I can already see what it is. I want you to see this. See that? Big old brass casing. You find them out here all the time. Drive me crazy. I'm gonna put my pile over there and I'm gonna check my pile again. I don't hear nothing. Don't throw this stuff back in the ground, okay? I'm gonna get over to this bedrock because I don't like messing with this flow sand because it's too deep and I'm gonna find a bunch of junk in there. I'm only concerned about the cracks and crevices where the gold gets stuck. So I'm gonna work my way up here, okay? See how it's got all these angular fractures and cracks and it comes right out? Now when you're detecting, remember the old phrase, you wanna keep the coil to the soil. Cause if you're up about an inch, that's an inch of depth that you're losing. So keep that coil down as far as you can. Now I got a target right there. I'll take these off real quick. Now you hear that nice solid target? I'll get a 180 on it. Okay. Now I had some iron down over here. 
Hear the difference? Hear that's more of a zip, zip, zip sound? That's what you want. And I'm ground balancing as I go to make sure I'm good. That's good. He's right about here. Now bedrock is a whole different animal. When you're searching bedrock, you should have a crevicing tool so you can get in there. You gotta be careful not to get too close to your search coil though. I want you to see all this black sand in here. And try to wear gloves too, because the critters love to live in there. Look at that, see that? Look how that's just picking that up. See that? That's nothing but black sand. All right, now I'm gonna teach you another technique. It's called blowing the rock. I know it sounds funky. Some guys use a plastic tube so they can put it right up against the rock. Me, I like to get my face down in there and just blow. Because if there's any gold, guess what? It's gonna be left behind in the rock. <laughs> ah, come here, take a look at this. See that? It's a little tiny piece right there where my finger's pointing. Just a little itty bitty piece. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if I can get it out with my fingers. Come on. It's stuck in there. Ooh, look at that one. Let's see if I can. Get that in the palm of my hand. You see that? There, look at that. Ooh, that's nice, pretty piece. Now, I know there's a lot of gold here. I found a lot of gold in this area. That's just a little itty bitty piece. Now, I want you to hear how loud that is. I want you to hear this. That little tiny piece. How loud that is, whoo! Six inch coil on a gold bug too, you can't beat it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over this bedrock and see if I can, if I can find anything else. Cause, <laughs> hey, look at this, look at this, come here. <laughs> come here, look, look. Right here. Take a look at this, right where my fingers point. Get out of there, you spider. Ooh. Right there, see that in the crack? Right there, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to blow that to you. Oh, there's two pieces. See that right there? There's a crack right there, see where that gold is? And then there's one piece there, and then there's a piece of bedrock right there. Here, let me get my, my pointer. Right there, see where my pointer's pointing? There's a piece right there, and there's a little bitty piece right next to it, see that? Ooh, I wonder if there's anything underneath that. Oh, I don't want to lose that gold. Okay. Now, a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll use tweezers to get it out. And me, I'll just blow the dirt away. There's a piece right there. See that? Uh, let me see if I can get that other one out. There's another one right there if I don't lose it. Ooh, ain't that pretty? Man, I tell you what, I love these gold bugs. Okay, so. I'm gonna keep searching this area. And then at the end of the video, I'll put up all the little pieces of gold that I find. Cause I'm gonna stay here, I don't care till midnight. And I'm gonna get every speck of gold in here. 